In this video, I show you how to create YouTube Shorts with AI in minutes. So with a tool I'm going to be showing you in this video, you can create YouTube Shorts super fast to scale up your content creation. Now, the tool we're going to be using in this video to create our YouTube Shorts is called InVideo AI. So if you want to follow along with me, then you can get access to the free plan of InVideo AI via the link in the description below this video. So go ahead and click that link to access the free plan. And then once you're logged into your account, you're going to see a dashboard look something like this. Come over to the button that says create AI video. And then here is where we can start to write text prompts to create the video for us. Now, if you want to, you can just go ahead and write your whole prompt in here and tell the AI that you want a YouTube short. You tell it how long you want it to be, what tone of voice, and of course, what the topic and the content of the video is, as well as any call to actions that you might want. And then click generate video. And InVideo AI is going to then start to create that YouTube short for you. However, at the bottom here, you can also see workflows already set up for us. So definitely easier to use these. And we've got one for YouTube shorts here. So I click this and now we have a little wizard to help us create our YouTube short. So the first option is from the drop down, we can select if we want a fast paced or a very fast paced YouTube short. So I'm going to select fast paced. And now here is where I write my more detailed prompt for this video. So for my prompt, I've written, create a YouTube short for a dog training video on three tips to stop your dog pulling on the lead. The three tips to cover are, and then I've put uh, stop walking, change direction, reward calm walking. And then I've also asked the AI to make the video 30 seconds long and narrate the video in a friendly, casual and conversational tone. Now here we've got the option to select what type of music we want. I'm just going to put up beat. And for language, I'm going to keep it in English but you've got up to over 50 different languages you can choose from here. And then when it comes to which voice we want to use, if we leave it on any voice, InVideo AI will use one of their own AI voices, which are actually pretty decent. They're quite human-like and they've also got good expression in the voice. However, if you want to upload your own voice and get InVideo AI to clone your voice and use that to narrate your videos for you, then it can also do that. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, but if you want to know how to do that, and you can see this video that I'm showing on the screen right now, and that shows you exactly step by step how to clone your own voice inside InVideo AI and then get InVideo AI to use your voice in your videos. I've also left a link to that video in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find it. Anyway, that said, if you want to choose one of InVideo AI's own voices, you can select here, male or female voice. If not, then from the drop down, I've already uploaded two clone voices of my own and I've labeled them one Steve's voice and the second one labeled John's voice. They are actually both my voices. I'm just going to select John's voice because that one did actually out better than the other one. So I've selected John's voice for the narrator, but John's voice is actually going to sound like my voice. And then I'm going to leave this to include subtitles. Now here we've got the watermark. So when making your video, it will have a watermark on it. But when you come to download your video, you'll have the option to remove that watermark, providing you've got a paid plan of InVideo AI. And now here we can just select where we want InVideo AI to source its B-roll content from. And down here we can select where we want the AI to source its music from. And then click continue. And now here is our prompt. Click generate video. And now InVideo AI is going to ask us a couple more questions about our target audience. So when it comes to target audience, are we targeting dog owners, pet lovers, or trainers? Let's just keep it on dog owners. Look and feel, I'm going to go for keep it on bright. And then platform is, of course, YouTube Shorts. Click continue. And now NVIDIA AI is going to start to create our video for us. And because this is a YouTube short of about 30 seconds, this is going to be pretty quick. So I'm going to pause the video. I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, so that took about just under two minutes and the video is ready. So I'm going to click play and we can watch the video and see what it's like. Just bear in mind, I'm just going to pause the video now. I'm going to have to switch my microphone to my computer microphone in order to pick up the sound. So just by playing the video, the sound quality is not going to be as good. But that's the only reason. It's just because I switched mics in order to pick up the sound. And then I'll switch back after I've played the video. Hey there, dog lovers. Struggling with your pup pulling on the lead? Here are three quick tips to help you out. First, stop walking. When your dog pulls, just stop. Only start walking again when the leash is slack. Second, change direction. Quickly turn when they pull to regain their attention. And finally, reward calm walking. Give treats or praise when they walk by your side. Try these tips and enjoy your walks. Happy training. Credits. Voiceover by John. Okay, that was pretty good. Not bad at all. The voice actually, I think, did sound like me. What do you think? You can let me know in the comments below. I don't know about the last bit where it said narrated or credits by John. That was pretty weird. None of the other videos I've made within Video AI so far has said that. That's kind of weird. I'm just going to give a prompt in a minute to the AI. Just ask it to change that for a call to action to get the viewer to click a link in the description instead. That would just obviously make much more sense. And also, I thought the music was okay, but it was a little bit loud. So I'm going to ask the AI to turn that down by about 50%. So I'm just going to put those prompts in here and then get the AI to make a new version of the video. So I've written out a prompt here to first turn the music down by 50%. 
and then I've asked the AI to move the subtitles down to the lower third of the screen. And then I've asked to remove the words at the end of that video, which is a bit weird, um, which said credits voiceover by John and instead replace it with the following words. So my call to action is want more tips to improve your dog's lead walking? Click the link in the video description. So I click generate video and let the AI create a new version of this video. Okay, again, that took about one and a half minutes. Now let's see what this version is like. Hey there, dog lovers. Struggling with your pup pulling on the lead? Here are three quick tips to help you out. First, stop walking. When your dog pulls, just stop. Only start walking again when the leash is slack. Second, change direction. Quickly turn when they pull to regain their attention. And finally, reward calm walking. Give treats or praise when they walk by your side. Try these tips and enjoy your walks. Happy training. Want more tips to improve your dog's lead walking? Click the link in the video description. Hey, that was pretty good. So as we saw that they moved the subtitles down to the lower third of the video and also replaced that weird sentence at the end with a nice call to action. And also the AI tones down the music in the background. So what's really cool about this is I didn't suggest to the AI at all what type of B-roll to put in there. I just said to make the video, it's basically about dog training or leash training. And the AI has selected all the B-roll, which is about leash training, which is pretty impressive. Now, if you're happy with the video, you can just click the download button and download it. Or you can continue to give more prompts to make edits. Alternatively, if you click this edit button here, this brings you into the timeline of the video. So if you want to get more granular and switch out different B-rolls or anything like that, or if you want to make more detailed edits to the script here, you can click here to add or delete anything to the script. And also you can edit the music up here as well. Now, if you want to see step by step everything you need to know how to use in video and also how to do all the editing, then you can watch this video here that I'm showing on my channel right now. I'm also going to link that video in the description of this video so it's easy for you to find it. That said, when you're happy with it, if you click the download button, now here you've got the option to remove the watermark and remove in video branding and also select the resolution you want. Click continue and then you download your video. So InVideo AI is a really powerful tool to create your YouTube shorts really quickly and it creates also really good quality videos and they're really easy to edit if you need to. Now, if you want to have a go with InVideo AI yourself, then you can get access to the free plan of InVideo AI via the link in the description below this video. Also, if you want to see a demo of how to clone your voice with InVideo AI, then you can watch this video here on my channel. And in that video, I also show you how to get the AI to change the narration into a different language, even in your own voice, which is quite fun. Alternatively, if you want to see a step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners to show you everything you need to know on how to use InVideo AI, including how to edit your videos, then watch this video here.